Okay, here we've got the three pack. It's uh, BB-8, Uncas Thug, and Jakku Scavenger. It's uh, about £15.99 in the UK. I've got this at Toys R Us. And I think this is about the best three pack because it's all new characters and it's from the new movie. Others are from Rebel Rebels and other stuff like that. So I think this is the best one. You've got BB-8 as well, he looks pretty cool. And you've got uh, Uncle's Thug, he looks pretty cool. And the little scavenger. Comes with a little net with the two missiles there attached. And this firing launcher thing, which people say is not really necessary, but you know, I guess it appeals to younger kids. Figures are only five, point f yeah, five points of articulation. What you got here, the back of the box. These are other packs you can get. Obi Wan clone commander Cody, Luke Skywalker, armor up, and Ray speeder. I really want that speeder. I haven't seen that in the UK yet. And it says BB-8 is a spherical, loyal astromech droid of the resistant pilot Poe Dameron. Uncas Thug, the strong arm bully who works for a junk dealer Uncar Plot. Help keep the scavenging world, business world on the remote loyalist world of Jakku and Jakku Scavenger. Tito is a small brutish scavenger that roams Jakku's vast railings on his semi-mechanical lugger beast. And then you've got a nice picture of the three figures. I mean the way that's posed he really looks like a sand person. And then you've got the little scavenger and BB-8. So I'm gonna got European warnings, it's a European box and then the figures there look pretty cool okay what's good about this packaging is you can open it and put the figures back in and out so I'm gonna get the figures out and show you them in better detail okay cheers bye here's a good look at the figures out of the box they're still in the plastic but they look pretty cool. You've got Onka's Thug, the Scavenger, and BB-8. They look really cool. And there's the uh, missile firing thing. The two missiles with the net and BB-8 there. So it's pretty cool. And I'll get these out of the packaging now and we'll have a good look at them. Okay. Okay, here's the three figures. You've got Uncle's Thug here. He looks amazing. Got ball jointed head. Uh, shoulders and hips. Comes with this little pistol there and this long staff. Looks really cool. And, yep. Yeah, there's the back of the figure. Got a nice weave to his jacket there. He's wearing a sort of hoodie. And he's got little tan boots on. Okay, if you move the leg forward, you can see that it's not sculpted, it's just flat. That's Uncle's Thug. Then you've got little BB 8 here, he's a pretty cool little figure. He's got a flat bottom, and his head swivels and rotates around. You can see this opening there yeah nice little BB-8 first BB-8 I've ever had it's got nice paint details on him quite a good little figure and then we got the scavenger big head which is on a ball joint nice detail there it's wearing wrap around sort of bandages. Nice details there. Arms move up and down. Legs move. They're really stiff though. Yep, yeah, but they do move. And he's wearing sandals. Not a bad little figure. So that's a uh, scavenger. Yeah, nice helmet detail. Yep, yeah, cool figure. We've got little BB-8. Cool. Uh, 
or he wants to roll away. And he's got pretty good detail, quite a small figure. And then you've got the Uncle's Thug. So if we're going to compare these to vintage figures, what I would compare these to are Uncle's Thug to the Sand People. You can see that these two have pretty have some design resonance as one would say so you've got the Sam person here from 1978 and he's got quite similar sculpting he's got also the flat in the inside leg there just as the Uncle's thug has both got similar look to the eyes the breath mask so I think these two are good likeness so Okay, BB-8's a no-brainer, that's going to be R2-D2. So here we've got the R2-D2 with the, what do you call it, sensor scope from 1970, 80, I guess, 81. And you can see that they, these two are figure equivalents. So R2-D2, BB-8. Uncle's Thug Sam person, and then obviously with the uh, jar scavenger, we're going to have the Jawa. So this is a cloth cape Jawa. You can put him there. So now you've got the figures and their modern figures and their vintage equivalents. Okay. Okay. So that's quite good. So you've got Sam Person and Unka's Thug, or Unka's Thug, whatever his name is. They look pretty similar. R2D2 and BB8 as um, figure equivalents, and the Jawa and the Scavenger, both were scavengers. He was a scavenger on Tatooine, he's a scavenger on Jakku. And probably in the, both movies, I mean, the Jawas brought R2 to Luke. This scavenger is going to bring BB-8 to Ray, I guess, or uh, I guess Ray, and then so, and then he, these guys are quite ferocious. They attack Luke, and then I guess these guys are going to be quite ferocious and attack Ray or uh, Finn. So there you go. You got the Sam person and the thug. R2 and BB-8, Jawa and uh, the Scavenger, Tido. Okay, so I think these are good 1970s uh, mix with the 2015 mix. Okay, so here you've got what 37 years between these two figures. So you've got the Sand person from 1978 and Uncle's Thug from 2015 and both live on a desert world both have five points of articulation and have that sort of design resonance as I said earlier so yeah Obviously, this has got a lot more texturing to it and detail, but the Sam Person's a cool figure. Okay, so there's the back of the Sam Person, and there's the back of Uncle's Slug. Okay, and there's his accessory, it's a little pistol, and this staff. Okay. Now you've got the R2-D2 from a long time ago, the sensor scope version and the new BB-8 figure. So he's got far better sculpting and both are going to probably have a similar role 
Well, I think R2's in the new film as well, hopefully. But I think BB-8 is going to be the main droid character. And he can just swivel his head around. R2's head rotates and clicks. And his legs move up and down. There's the screw, famous screw that holds it together, the head. And then BB-8. So you've got these two classic characters. Tiny little BB-8. Now I'm comparing the Jawa and the Scavenger. And you can see the Jawa's got a little cloth cape. And the colour's a bit faded in the plastic, but still it's an old figure. And you've got Onkos Thug here. Both look pretty different, but still I think they're going to have in the New Hope and uh, Episode 7 they're going to have similar roles. That is of capturing the droid R2-D2 and um, BB-8 respectively. Okay. There's a uh, nice little silver piece of equipment there nice figure there there's the feet quite strange there's the little jawa so you can compare these two figures the r2 and the bb8 and Uncle's thug and the sand person so there I think this set's a really good set though the new set the so you could consider getting this set even though it's got limited articulation these are probably peripheral characters apart from BB-8 but you know everyone loves the sand people sand person so we're not like this figure R2 and BB-8, this character, and the Jawa, and just, you know, it's pretty obvious these figures match each other in a way, just separated by time, okay, so that's this pack, cheers, bye. So last look at this set, this is the Uncle's Thug BB-8 and Scavenger 3 pack. And I've got the modern or vintage figures that I think uh, correlate to the new figures. So you've got Sam Person and uh, Thug, R2 and BB-8, Scavenger and Jawa. So it's a bit like history repeating itself. And you can just see that there's certain design traits that these figures have that, you know, just make you think put you in mind of the Sam person, the R2 and the Jawa. Okay, so I'm probably the first person to do this on YouTube, that is to compare these new figures with the vintage. Uh, I think this pack's really good because you get the BB-8 and the scavenger, a thug looks pretty cool. The, the uh, scavenger's okay, I mean the helmet's really good. The mask. This accessory is pretty redundant, you don't really need it, and the missiles are pretty. I mean, if you're a little kid, you might enjoy firing missiles at BB 8 and stuff like that. And there's the R2 and little BB 8 there in his little thing. And what's good about this packaging is you can put it back in the box and you know, sell it on eBay or keep it boxed, hoping that it will become valuable. Whether it does or not, who knows. Okay, so that's your uh, three pack. Okay, cheers, bye. Okay, let's just have a little look at that guy as well. Okay, cheers, bye. And there's back in the box, you wouldn't even know it's been opened. Look at that. So, it's not a bad idea having 
boxes like this that you can just open, look at the figures, and then shove them back in. Really nice set. There's the back of the box. I want to get that speeder definitely. And the, those three figures you get. Okay, so that's your European box Force Awakens free pack. And then you've got the three vintage figures the Jawa, R2D2, and the Sam Person. Alright, cheers. That's it. Bye. Okay, there you go.